Hello and welcome. So this video I'm going to be diving in a little bit closer onto the dupes I found between the Glossier Generation G line and the recently relaunched ColourPop blotted lip line and I never tried the original formulation but I just got the newest shades that were launched in this collection and swatched them all and I was most drawn to try this out because it seemed like a drugstore pricing version of a product similar to the Generation G which is currently my favorite um, lipstick lip color product I think um, aside from anything that's like overtly a lip balm um, this is my favorite lip color type of thing but anyways I quite like the ColourPop blotted lip formula, but they are definitely distinct. So what I've done is I've tried to line up the closest color comparisons I can find between the Generation Gs that I have in my collection, which are Cake, Leo, Zip, and Like. And I know there's a few more colors, but these are the ones that I like. So there's that. And, um... What I've done is in the clips, I've swatched the Generation G on the left side of my lips and the ColourPop blotted on the right side, only for the ones that I find actually have like something comparable enough that it's worth swatching them out on the lips. And you can see the more subtle differences on how they look. Uh, so let's jump into the color comparisons that I have. Alrighty, so first is the comparisons to the Genji and Zip. So here's Zip kind of built up in an aggressive swatch and here it is in just like one quick swipe. They're both pretty bright. There's no real like red comparison in this lineup. So the closest I have is maybe Missing You and this is Missing You kind of built up notably. If I just do a few quick swipes of it, it would just look like a bit faint so on the lips definitely not very similar honestly in the whole lineup not super close to begin with so this one's kind of interesting so up above here i have the generation g in like and these are two swatches of the same color from the ColourPop range this is the shade shook and the shade is very bright when built up as you can see it's a lot more bright of a berry than like but if you just do like a quick one swipe maybe two or like kind of blot it out it does end up looking pretty similar so I have um, swatched up on my lips I have the like kind of built up a bit more whereas shook I tried to kind of sheer out and only put a little bit on to compare all right, and then here is the Gen G in Cake versus ColourPop in Los Files, and I feel like this one is clearly the closest by far. The Cake is a bit deeper, and I think that the um, Los Files is a little bit more orangey, but on the lips, they actually do look pretty similar, at least on me. So for the shade, Leo in the Gen Z, I have it swatched above here and it's got like a few more comparisons just because there are a lot of warm brownie-ish colors in the ColourPop lineup but the closest by far is this shade here which is on film. It is a bit more um, warm and ready whereas the Gen Z one is Gen Z generation g in leo is a bit cooler um but this here just so you can see in comparison the very brown shade is melty and this is the shade los files and on my lips i i put um leo and on film next to each other and then getting more into the actual formulations, how they feel and perform on the face, I think there is a little bit more distinction from how they look at least. I think they both do a great job of giving a blurred, soft matte, lets your natural lip pigment peek through appearance. They both look really good and do a good job of kind of 
blurring and covering over um, any dry flaky spots you might have and not really emphasizing those and in some cases I actually like how the ColourPop blotted one looks over the Generation G when I look at them side by side. Maybe it's the color, maybe it's the formula, but for me the differences really stand out in how they actually feel and because of how they feel on the lips, it leads me to kind of feel like they're not really dupes. I definitely like the Generation G formula still better. So um, let's get into why that is. The first one, this one's kind of easy and not really a game changer or anything, but these are both equally strongly scented where the ColourPop one smells like, um, what did I say? I think lip smackers are, just like any any of the like scented chapstick lip glosses of like drugstore products in the mid 2000s that's what this smells like and very strongly and the generation G smells very strongly of these kind of um like plasticky rose scent which I actually think the blotted lip has a stronger scent as in when I apply it, I notice it lasting on my lips for longer than the Generation G. But the biggest thing for me is I don't like how this smells. I kind of oddly like how the Generation G smells. So because they're so incredibly strong in scent, that is something that definitely sways me in how much I enjoy actually applying them. And more notably, the formulas are a little bit different. The ColourPop Blotted Lip has a very, it's a formula that I have felt before. It's that very silicone-y, slippy, plush, um, uh, not drying but like zero moisture added sort of formulation and it is very smoothing on the lips but ultimately it feels like a little bit powdery to me which i don't love how that feels over time and uh while i don't think that it's the product drying me out i think it's the fact that there's like zero moisture added that after wearing this for a while my lips ultimately feel dry by the end of the day there are a lot of products on the market that i think have a similar feel to this like any of the peripera velvet airy matte tints cloudy tints i don't remember all the names but that sort of like um the velvet liquid lip from k-beauty leaves that sort of feeling on my lips for me it's similar to how the color pop feels i also find the nars um, and i do I feel like these sort of products the are very personal to other people because i've heard lip of um, other people it might like, be soft matte tinted lip I first bought this NARS it feels very similar to this tinted lip balm it is because plush, of emily it's noel's not review exactly and she said dry. that it actually felt hydrating uh, it actually felt like it bombing, doesn't feel like it's sucking the moisture like out of my lips totally but it just kind of feels very powdery silicone like no moisture added for like this me whereas layer that just kind of sits they on will try the top and say it overall looks very dry and so i do think this i don't like how it feels and that preference between these two still stands out for me uh, you i really like this because it feels very thin on my lips i can have like a different range in how much i build up the color and ultimately it still feels very thin and it it just adds a little bit of actual moisture feeling for me but the color pop has a lot more like of a slick slippy application whereas the generation g has a little bit of like tackiness as you apply you have to apply with a little bit more pressure and there's more of a waxy um feel as it goes on but overall i definitely just prefer how this performs and feels on my lips throughout the day i think they both look great and have a lot of pretty colors that will work for other people and then the last side note is um the color pop is packaging so the color pop packaging i've had a few come a little wonked up i've noticed over time and i haven't had these very long but some of the lids have like cracked along here just from opening and closing so i imagine like right now it's a very tight snap shut but over time as more of these cracks form that'll be a problem and then the generation g i kind of i've been over this i hate the packaging it looks nice from afar from a glance but the inside gets incredibly dirty um so like yeah my bullet i wipe them down every once in a while and it's super annoying because 
The thing is, it looks like there's room at the top of the lid, but the top of the lid actually ends a little sooner. So it ends right where the bullet is. So if you accidentally leave your lipstick like this much protruding, it'll just smush into the top of the lid and get everywhere. And this happens to me all the time. And I swear I'm not like, I don't twist my lipstick out this much when I use it, maybe just the tiniest bit, but if you leave it out at all, it'll smudge up on the inside and then just get everywhere over time and I kind of hate it. So if they ever release uh, updated packaging, that would be much preferred. And I'm not someone who's like messy with my lipstick usually. This packaging is just bad. <laughs> Still love the formula though. So those are all my thoughts on these um yeah let me know which one you like better or products in this sort of sheer soft tinted matte lipstick genre that you like uh and thank you for watching